Okay, so um, one of the first things that we did get over uh, into is what we're calling is the recursive formula. All right. Now, previously, Caroline, when we were doing um, when we were doing our sequences, our sequences came in for one, two, three, four, five. Right. We had our number in our sequence, and then we had some kind of rule. Right. Um, where it could be three. Um, let's see. That'd be eight. And we came up with a rule, and then sometimes we had to decide what the rule was. Now, I made this one up, so you could determine it was n squared minus 1. Very good. And we write it in subscript notation. Right? Now, this is what we've previously done. We're actually going to be moving on from this. But the main important thing I want you guys to understand was n, right, represented our term in the sequence. Right? And if we wanted to find any term in the sequence, all we'd simply do is plug in whatever number we wanted to. And that was like, what, 25 or the whatever one you asked me for, right, Gabby? It said, you know, find a sub 25. Well, then you just put in 25 in for the n, evaluate, and then you find that value, right? So what we're going to be going over now is what we're going to call the recursive formula. And what the recursive formula is going to be, it's very similar to our sequence of numbers, but what happens with the recursive formula, it is based off of the previous term. So they're on the recursive form, they're asking us to find the first five, five terms. And to find those five terms, we have to know what the previous value was. Not so much knowing what the formula is, because that will be provided, you can see the formulas right here, but knowing what the previous term is to work off of. So to do that, we want to find a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, a sub 5, first five terms. We have a sub 1. All right? So to find a sub 2, what you're simply going to do is take the value of a sub 1 and plug it into your equation. So let's watch, see what happens. If I plug in an a sub 1 in for a sub k, let's see what happens. a sub 1 plus 1 equals a sub 1 plus 1. You guys see what I did? Okay, now, well, subscripts, we can add those. 1 plus 1 is like 2. So, now we're finding what a sub 2 is. So, a sub 1, we actually know the value of a sub 1 that was provided to us, which is 5. So, we can say a sub 2, oops, I can add one. a sub 2 equals 6. Now, to go to a sub 3, we're again going to now plug in the previous term of a sub 2 into our formula. So I'll do a sub 2 plus 1 equals a sub 2 plus 1. You guys see how all I'm doing is taking the previous term, the previous value that I evaluated for, and now plugging that in. All right? So 2 plus 1 is 3. a sub 2 is going to be 6 plus 1. a sub 3 equals 7. Do you guys see the formula and kind of the pattern that we're following along? Do you guys see it? So the recursive formula, again, is going to be based off of the previous term. Unlike just the previous sequence that we're doing, where we're trying to find, you know, what is that rule going for the number in the sequence compared to its value. So if I'll, I'll just go and finish this up very quickly for you, if you guys can follow the rule. So here, I'm going to know I'm going to have to plug that in for a 7. 7 plus 1 is going to be 9. And a sub 5, 9 plus 1. It's 8. Uh, thank you very much. And then 8, 8 plus 1 is going to be. Any questions? Good? No questions. You guys were able to complete that and then get off to the other one. Now, that's actually one.